government plans to execute two more men this week. Meanwhile, anti-death penalty activists are discussing the Trump administration's rush to execute federal inmates during the lame duck session. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 10 on my Fox 10. The government has carried out eight federal executions this year. Two more are set for this week in Terre Haute. We have team coverage for you tonight. News 10 Sarah Lehman leads off our coverage with a look at the men facing death. Brandon Bernard and Alfred Bourgeois. Both men are on death row and are set to be executed in Terre Haute next week. Brandon Bernard's execution is set for December 10th. Bernard has been on death row for 20 years. He was sentenced to death in 2000 for the murder of Stacy Bagley. She was killed with her husband, Todd, after a carjacking and robbery in June of 1999. They were both left locked in the trunk of their car after being shot. Their car was then set on fire. Todd Bagley died from the gunshot, but Stacy died in the fire, which Bernard set. Many people are fighting to put a stop to his execution, including Kim Kardashian West. Again, Bernard is set to be executed by lethal injection Thursday, December 10th. Meanwhile, the execution of Alfred Bourgeois is set for December 11th. Bourgeois has been on death row for 17 years. He physically and emotionally tortured, sexually molested, and then beat to death his two and a half year old daughter. In 2004, a jury in Texas found him guilty on multiple offenses, including murder. Again, he is set to be put to death by lethal injection Friday, December 11th. Now, I am set to be the media witness for both of these executions, and we will, of course, bring you all updates on air and online at WTHITV.com. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. All this week, those against the death penalty are taking part in a virtual conference. Those sessions started today. News 10's Dominic Miranda continues our team coverage with more on those discussions. Death penalty opponents are hosting a week-long virtual human rights conference. It began on Sunday. Creator of the conference, Ashley Kincaid Eve, says she wanted to continue building momentum for their cause. Brandon Bernard's execution is next, and it will be on International Human Rights Day. Kincaid Eve says because of this, she wanted to bring awareness to those who don't even know executions are taking place. She decided to reach out to famed human rights activist Amanda Knox, and now the conference is garnering national attention. What we thought was just going to be a one-day live stream event turned into a week-long conference that now has national and international heroes um, attending. So... We've been very fortunate to get the momentum around this. It's about raising awareness because if people are being killed in your name, you have a duty to at least know that it's happening. Kincaid Eve says they will discuss wrongful convictions, the impact on the families of death row inmates, and congressional leaders committed to ending the federal death penalty. Reported in Terre Haute, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10. You can find complete coverage of federal executions resuming by visiting our website. That's WTHITV.com.